We're down here on the bench uh, playing around with some RF circuits for the next video or two. And I thought I'd spend a few moments talking about why we typically shield RF circuits. And there's a couple of reasons. Uh, the most obvious ones are that RF circuits can often radiate RF energy and that could cause interference with other circuits and things like that. And also, similarly, circuits can be sensitive to being interfered with from other RF signals. So oftentimes you'll see a shielding for those reasons. And probably the third uh, you know, most important reason is to control uh, parasitics and in interaction with the environment. So let's explore that one a little bit further. Uh, the circuit we're using here is a voltage controlled oscillator that I showed in uh, the video that we did about varactor diodes. And uh, this is just a simple uh, coal pits oscillator that uh, has got a couple of varactor diodes that could be uh, used to control the frequency of oscillation of this oscillator. So um, we'll use this as an example of uh, how parasitics can affect the operation of the circuit. Uh, like most oscillators, the frequency of oscillation is determined primarily by this inductor and the capacitance that appears in parallel with it. So that if basically is these capacitors here as well as this one and the combination of the varactors. Now of course any stray capacitance from the inductor itself to ground will add to um, the amount of capacitance that's there and alter the frequency of operation slightly. I've got the oscillator uh, running right about 18 megahertz or so and because it is unshielded it is kind of emitting you know some of its radiation out into the air and I'm close enough by this uh, shortwave receiver here that we can actually pick it up. So with the receiver in single sideband mode we'll be able to essentially listen to the carrier or the oscillation uh, of this uh, oscillator. Let's turn the volume up here and I can actually hear the tone We'll adjust the clarifier here, the beat frequency oscillator, to adjust that tone. So I can actually hear the stability and the frequency of that. Now because it's not shielded, if I just simply wave my finger nearby, get close to that coil, I'm essentially affecting the capacitance that that coil is seen to ground. Because as I bring my, my finger nearby, I've got some capacitance, very small, from the coil to my finger and then from my finger to ground. So you can see I can very dramatically change the frequency of that oscillator just by putting my finger nearby. It's kind of the principle that a theremin would operate on. Now of course this is really not desired operation here so uh, this is where a shield can really help. I just have a very simple uh, folded metal shield here and it just has a couple of hooks on the back that I'm going to use to you know, hook, onto the power, uh, hook onto the circuit board here. Not making a perfect connection to ground but enough that it, that it is a shielded, grounded uh, uh, shield now. It's still open all the way around the sides. But let's take a look at how effective that is in reducing the effect of just m moving my hand around it. And so let's turn the volume back up on the receiver. And now if I wave my hand around this, there's no change or no effect in that frequency that's as a result of my hand. If I just touch the shield even, I can make a small change, but it's a pretty minor change, Just uh, and I can go all the way around this, it's not affecting it at all. I pulled that shield away, now I've got that wild variation again. So we can see how effective you know, even a very simple metal shield can be in reducing the parasitics because even though in introducing the shield has added some parasitics to the circuit you know from the coil to the shield etc it's reduced the effect of anything else effectively shielded away you know my hands or other circuits that might be in the area so this is uh, you know certainly one example that's very easy to see why uh, shielding is uh, typically pretty important when dealing with uh, RF circuits Oh yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching.